everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making the baby crown ear flap hat. This is so adorable. I'll get into the supplies and get into sizing info and we'll get into making this piece. So big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing the yarn for this whole project today. This yarn we are using uh, for our main shell of our hat, our ear flaps and our braids, we are using Red Heart Super Saver yarn in the color Aran. I don't have the label for that. It was actually, you can obviously see it's a scrap yarn ball. <laughs> I don't actually uh, have a full skein of that to show. Um, so um, it is Red Heart Super Saver yarn. It is acrylic size 4 medium worsted weight yarn. You can use an Aran or a double knitting type of yarn. Um, and I used the off-white color tone. And then for the crown, we used um, same it's Red Heart Super Saver yarn in gold to make this crown. And then for a little bit of embellishment, I'm using this Huga fur in the color Smoky. Um, as a little bit of a fur embellishment. This piece specifically is part of a Halloween costume that I am creating for my baby. So um, if you want to create the same, you can. Uh, but this uh, hat is uh, for the size three to six month old baby. And um, that is what it will fit. It'll probably fit up to a nine month old. I mean, it is very stretchy, but um, right now, at the time of filming this tutorial, my son is four months old and it fits him perfectly. So I would say three to six months um, would be the size of this hat. And uh, for sizing information, I only have this size created. I don't have stitch counts for smaller or larger sizes, unfortunately. Uh, the other supplies you're going to need is an H size crochet hook, which is five millimeters. This fancy crochet hook is from the Etsy shop, Would Be Fancy. I share this in all of my tutorials. It is super fabulous, hand carved, ergonomic, and uh, it's just a wonderful crochet hook that fits in the palm of your hand so perfectly. There's international shipping and there's right-handed and left-handed crochet hooks available So make sure you check out the wood uh, the Etsy shop would be fancy to get your crochet hooks like this one And we also need a scissors and a yarn needle to cut our yarn and sew in our ends And we're gonna actually sew the crown to the hat as well and our ear flaps We sew that too. So there's quite a bit of sewing in here, but this piece turned out so fabulously and it is a quick project. So, uh, I mean, baby hats are just are, you just whip them up in an hour or two. So it's really, really fast for fast crocheters. <laughs> so that is all the supplies you're going to need. And that sizing information is there. Check out all the links in the description of this video. I'll have all of this linked. There's a link to the pattern as well. This is on yarnutopia.com for free written on my blog. And also, um, there are links to all the supplies here. There's links to my socials. There's Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. All my socials are there. So make sure you're following me. And then hit that subscribe button on YouTube so you can get the update on when we post our next video. <laughs> all right. Thanks to Red Heart Yarns. Thanks to my dad back behind my shoulder who is filming this and editing this tutorial and posting it for everybody. And thanks to you for watching. Let's get started and make the baby crown ear flap hat. All right, we're gonna make the main part of the hat first. So let's make a slip knot. Put your short end over your long end, then fold this down and then pull your long end through here and pull tight. Insert your hook and we can start. So let's start out by chaining two. So yarn over and pull through one and two. And in the second chain from the hook right here, we are going to put nine half double crochets. So yarn over, go into that chain way over here. Okay, yarn over and pull through. And then yarn over and pull through all three of the loops on your hook. Okay, that's a half double crochet. So you have to make nine of those in that same chain. So yarn over, go back into that chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. That's two, here's three, here's four, five. You can see I'm working in a circular motion as well. Six, seven, eight and nine. 
Now, if you wanted to start with the magic ring, you could have, uh, but I just don't do that method. So now what we're going to do, count back nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and go into this first stitch right here and slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through and through. And that was round one. Going on to round two, we are going to chain one. It does not count as anything. And we are going to put two half double crochets in each stitch around. So yarn over, go into the same stitch that we slip stitched into right here. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, so that's ha we're doing half double crochets for this whole hat. So yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And now hop to the next stitch and put two half double crochets in there just like that, and do that for all the stitches around. Now, at the end of round two, you will have 18 half double crochets, so I'll do that and I'll come back, we'll go on to round three next. All right, slip stitch to the first half double crochet of this round, just ignore this chain one right here, go into the actual stitch, right here, yarn over, pull through and through. And now we can go on to round three. So chain one. And for round three, we are going to put two half double crochets in this first stitch here where we slip stitched into. So one and two. And then just put one half double crochet into the next stitch. And repeat that sequence all the way around. So two half double crochets in the next stitch and then one half double crochet in the next. Then two half double crochets in the next stitch, and then one half double crochet in the next. And at the end of round three, you will have 27 half double crochet stitches. So I'll do that and then I'll come back. All right, I have my 27 stitches around. Let's go into the first half double crochet. Again, d just ignore this chain one here. Go into this stitch right here and uh, slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through and through, and then chain one. Okay, and we can go on to round four. Round four says to put two half double crochets in the first stitch and then one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So yarn over, go into the same stitch that we slip stitched into and make two half double crochets in there. So one and two. And then one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So one and one. Okay, and then repeat that sequence. So put two half double crochets into this stitch, one and two, and then one half double crochet in each of these next two stitches, one and one, and just repeat. So do that all the way around. At the end of round four, you'll have 36 stitches all the way around. So I'll do that and then I'll come back. We'll go on to round five next. All right, I have 36 stitches around. Slip stitch to the first half double crochet stitch right here. Yarn over, pull through and through. Chain one, going on to round five now, we are going to put two half double crochets in the first stitch, one and two. And for this round, we're gonna put one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So you can kind of tell what the increase is um, how to make it larger, just adding one extra uh, single stitch um, in between the double stitches. So put two half double crochets in this next stitch and one half double crochet in the next three stitches for this round. And then repeat. Two half double crochets in the next, one half double crochet in the next three. And you can kind of guess then what the next round will be, <laughs> but I will meet you up for that round. At the end of this round, you will have 45 stitches. So let me do that and we'll go on to round six next. All right, slip stitch to the beginning stitch here and we can go on to round six. Round six is our last increase. Let's chain up one, and we are going to put two half double crochets in the first stitch, and then one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. So here's one, next stitch is two, next stitch three, and next stitch four. 
four. And now we're just going to repeat that all the way around. So put two half double crochets in the next stitch and one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. And then at the end of round six, you should have 54 half double crochets. So I'll do that and then we'll go on to round seven next. All right, we can slip stitch to the beginning here. Now we are done increasing. You should have 54 stitches all the way around. This is what your piece should look like. And for rounds seven through 13, all we are going to do is chain one and half double crochet one, half double crochet in each stitch around. So you will have 54 stitches on each of these next seven rounds. I think it's, I think it's seven rounds. It's rounds seven, through 13. So I am going to do that and then just slip stitch to the first stitch and then chain one when you come back to the beginning and go on to the next round. So when you're going on to the next round, just slip stitch to the first stitch chain one and just half double crochet into each stitch around and we're going to do that for rounds seven through 13 and when I finish round 13 I'll come back and um, we want to make kind of like a, a ribbed type of brim I guess it's not really a brim but the, the edging of our hat we want it to be more of like a ribbed effect so I'll show you how to do that when I finish round 13. All right, I just finished round 13 here, so you can see what it looks like so far, part of a hat. And if you need to, um, if, uh, if, this does, if this comes to the eyebrows of the person that you're making this for, um, then you can go on to the next step. But if it does not come down to the eyebrows in this step, or in this part, um, then continue on one or two more rounds to come down to the eyebrows, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So now what we're going to do is chain one going on to round 14 we are going to front post half double crochet on this first stitch and then back post half double crochet on the next stitch and then alternate the two on each of the stitches around so I'll show you how to do that we're going to yarn over go to this first half double crochet so ignore this chain one right here go to on this side of the post okay around the post just like this Okay, yarn over and pull it through, okay, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's a front post half double crochet. Now we're going to back post half double crochet on this next stitch. So yarn over, go to the back of your work, around the back of that stitch, and then back to the back, just like that, and then yarn over, okay, pull it through, around that stitch okay just like that and then yarn over and pull through all three loops and that is a back post half double crochet so we're going to alternate these two stitches on each stitch around so yarn over go around this first one or this next stitch here from the front to the back and then back to the front here yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three loops and then back post half double crochet on the next stitch so yarn over go from the back of your work to the front and then back to the back yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops okay and just alternate those two stitches all the way around you'll still have 54 stitches around just a different type of stitch working the front and back post stitches so do that and then um, Actually, we're going to do that for this round, round 14, and then I'll show you how to go on to round 15 next. All right, when you're finished with uh, round 14, we're going to slip stitch to the first front post stitch right here. I uh, My last stitch on this round was a back post half double crochet. So skip this chain one stitch here, go into the front post half double crochet stitch here, yarn over, pull through and through just to close this round. And now what we're going to do for rounds 15 and 16, we're going to chain one and we are going to 
front post half double crochet on the front post half double crochet stitches and we're going to back post half double crochet on the back post half double crochet stitches so yarn over go into this front post stitch right here it's a front post half double crochet so make a front post half double crochet on it and the next stitch is a back post and the next stitch is a front post and just continue this all the way around and then slip stitch to the first front post half double crochet stitch and then chain one and do the same thing for round 16. So I'll do two rounds of this and then after round 16 we can fasten off and go on to the next step. Alright, I just finished round 16. I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning front post uh, half double crochet stitch and we can fasten this part off. So let's chain one, cut our yarn and pull it all the way through and pull tight. Grab your yarn needle right away and just sew in this end. And then what we're going to do is make the ear flaps separately um, off of this hat. So I'm going to set this hat aside when I sew in this end here, or after I sew in this end. I just sew in my ends by uh, yarning my needle and then just going underneath the stitches in the inside of the hat, just like this, and just weaving it underneath those stitches and then cutting any extra, oh, there we go, and stretch it out. Okay, so there is the hat shell so far. So you can see that ribbing effect looks really nice. So now what we're going to do is make the ear flap. So we're going to grab the same color yarn. I'm going to set this aside. We're going to start with a slip knot. I showed you how to do that earlier. And we are going to chain 11. So yarn over, pull through. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, and we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and each chain across. And what I like to do is turn the chain towards me and work in these back ridges of the chain. So I'm going to do that. So in the second chain right here, go into that back ridge, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. That's a single crochet. So do that all the way across. Go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two next chain single crochet and at the end of row one you will have 10 single crochets um i'm halfway there so you can just continue watching once you're finished with row one we are going to chain one and turn our work so i'll show you that in just a second here if i'm going too fast you can always pause and rewind or if I'm going too slow, you can always fast forward. <laughs> but uh, let's just single crochet across this chain here, just like that. So I have 10 stitches across. Chain one and turn your work like this. And we are going to single crochet across. So go into this first stitch right here. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. So just single crochet across for again 10 stitches across this row. This is row two. And I'm halfway there again. You can just continue watching. I'm just going a little bit faster just because these are single crochets and it's very simple here. Okay, 10 stitches across. So then chain one and turn your work around. This ear flap is super small. Now we're going to decrease. We are going to single crochet two together. So go into the very first stitch, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch right away yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three of those loops that is a single crochet decrease or single crochet two together stitch now we're just going to single crochet in each of the stitches until there is one stitch left or i'm sorry two stitches left i don't know why i said one stitch left uh two stitches left so single crochet in the next six stitches and then there's two stitches left here. We're going to single crochet the last two stitches together. So go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops. So on that row, row three, you should have eight stitches across. So let's chain one and turn our work around this way. And we're just going to single crochet across. So repeat row two. So one, two, three four, five, six, 
7, and 8. Now chain 1 and turn your work around going on to row, row 5. It says to repeat row 3. So we are going to single crochet 2 together. And then single crochet in each of the next 4 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then single crochet those last 2 stitches together. Exactly how we worked row 3. Then chain 1 and turn your work around and row 6 says to repeat row 2 which is single crochet across. So just single crochet in each of these 6 stitches and you can see we are, we've decreased so there's less stitches on each row. So chain 1, turn your work around row 7 says to repeat row 3 so we are going to single crochet 2 together and then single crochet in each of the next two stitches and then single crochet two together so you should have four stitches on row seven now chain one turn your work around and it says for row eight to single crochet across so each of these four stitches gets a single crochet but also we are going to continue to single crochet around this whole piece so just single crochet up this side right here just basically wherever your hook fits just single crochet up this side just like this and then when you're turning the corner, I usually like to put two or three stitches in a corner stitch like this. So I'm going to put two here and then I'm going to work along this edge right here, these 10 stitches, and then up the other side. And we're actually going to end up the other side. We're not going to go across row eight or anything. So I'll show you that right here I'm just going up this other side just putting two single crochets in that corner I'm gonna work over the top of this straggler so I'm going to be sewing that in as I go basically so I don't have to go in and sew it in later it's just already gonna be sewn in and it'll save me a step later and then I'm coming up this end here and when you're ready to fasten off I'll show you exactly what you have to do Alright, slip stitch to the first stitch right here, yarn over, pull through and through, chain one, cut your yarn, pull it through and pull tight. Since I was crocheting over the top of this straggler, I can actually cut this as well, and that is hidden underneath. Stretch this out, okay, take your yarn needle and sew in this end. And then all you need to do is make another one exactly like this, and once you have two of these ear flaps, I'll show you how to attach them to the hat. Alright, I have two ear flaps made, so we're going to grab our hat here, and you want to look around your hat for the seam. You can kind of see the seam right here. So make sure that's the back of the hat, and what we're going to do is kind of um, flatten this out so that the seam is on one side um, creased and then this would be the front of the hat over here so this is the side of the hat right here and this is where we're going to attach one of our ear flaps and I'm gonna attach it on the inside above my ribbed uh, brim area here so and you want the wider part to be on the top and the smaller skinnier part to be on the bottom okay so if it looked like this it wouldn't really I mean you got you could do it that way but I want it to be wider on top and uh, smaller or narrower uh, more narrow narrower more narrow <laughs> on the bottom so I'm going to stick it in the inside here okay just like that I'm going to flip this up, set it down there, grab some yarn from my yarn ball, yarn my needle with that yarn, okay, so I'm going to position this where I want it, and we're just going to go from the inside to the outside, okay, and we're just going to go through a few of the stitches and just sew this on. Okay, so just going back and forth, okay, both through, uh, go through both layers just like this, 
and make sure it is attached. Okay, and I'm actually going to go back to the beginning over here. Because I'm going to tie this in a knot. So I'm going to cut this shorter, tie these two strands in a knot, and then I'm going to sew these ends in. It's super simple, and that is how you attach the ear flap. So all you have to do is just attach the other one exactly the same, and then you'll have the two ear flaps, and then we can go on to making the crown next. All right, before I sew on my other one, I just want to make sure to um, kind of reiterate um, that you want to have the other ear flap be exactly opposite of this one. So, uh, and you can actually kind of turn this so that um, your ear flaps are closer to the back so that your front of your hat has a wider um, area for the forehead and the eyes to see. So I kind of moved it to closer to the back of the, this is the back of my hat right here. So I don't want to confuse you by flipping it so much. So this is the back of my hat on this side now. And um, I kind of moved this so it wasn't so much in the center as much as it was toward the back. Okay, because if you look at your face or your head, your ears are more toward the back of your head. So I'm going to put this ear flap on this side, okay, opposite of this other one right here. So I'm just going to put this right here, and I'll sew this one on, and then we can make the crown <laughs> next. Alright, so I've attached the ear flaps here, as you can see. Now, if you want uh, to not add the crown or any embellishments, um, you have a nice hat here. You can add some braids to your ear flaps and uh, have a cute little simple hat. But I want to add the crown. I have my gold yarn here, so I'm going to set this aside and grab my gold yarn. And we're going to start off with a slip knot. Start off with a longer strand of yarn, because we will use this for sewing later. So just um, start off with a longer strand. Mine's about six, eight inches long here. And then uh, create your slip knot and we can start. So let's begin by chaining, or actually we're going to foundation double crochet 54 stitches. Now if you want to, you can chain 56 and then double crochet in the third chain from the hook and all the way across and that's totally fine, but I am going to foundation double crochet and that is what I'll demonstrate here. So what we want to do is chain three, so yarn over, pull through, one, two, three, and what we're going to do for the foundation double crochet is yarn over, go into that third chain way over here, yarn over and pull it through that chain. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through only one loop. Now we have three loops on the hook still, we're going to yarn over and pull through two of those loops. And then to finish the double crochet, we're going to yarn over and pull through those two, other two loops there. So that is our first foundation double crochet. If you can see it, there it is, right there. So now, going on to making the next ones, our next foundation double crochet, I like to turn my work like this and work into here. And what we're going to do is work in the bottom here. You can see, let me grab my needle here. You can see this, these two loops at the bottom right here, yeah? This, this loop right here and this loop right here, we're going to go through that. So yarn over your hook, go into this bottom loop, these two here, this one and this one, okay, at the bottom of that. Then yarn over and pull it through that, okay, kind of pull out. This is making your foundation chain, so yarn over and pull through one that creates the base chain, and then finish your double crochet. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And there's your next one. So now we're just going to repeat that until we have 54 of these. So yarn over, go to the base here. If you need to turn this towards you, you can see this loop here and this loop right here. Okay, go through those. Yarn over, pull through, kind of pull up just a little bit. 
yarn over, pull through one, that creates the base chain, then yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Okay, again I'll show you, yarn over, go to the base of this stitch, this loop and this back loop here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. I do have a video tutorial on the foundation double crochet stitches. I also have videos on foundation half double crochet and foundation single crochet. So they're super simple. You can just continue doing this until you have 54 of them. And once you get the hang of it, you can go much faster. <laughs> it is pretty difficult to start off, but once you know the foundation double crochet, possibilities are endless, and this is such an easy stitch to do once you figure it out. So I'm going to do that, and then once I have my 54 foundation double crochet stitches, I will come back and show you what to do next. Okay, I just foundation double crocheted 54, so this is what it should look like, just a really long piece here. So what we're going to do is come back around without twisting anything. Come back around like this, okay? And we're gonna go into the first stitch, okay? So ignore this chain two right here. Ignore that, go into the first stitch, okay? And slip stitch, so grab your yarn here yarn over, pull through and through. So now we've made a big ring. And like I said earlier, we're gonna use this for sewing because this is split right here. So we are going to use this strand that we had in the beginning uh, where we made our slip knot. We're gonna use that for sewing and I'll show you that later. So what we're going to do now is chain one and single crochet into that very first stitch that we just slip stitched into. So go in there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now what we're going to do is skip two stitches and we're going to make a series of stitches in this next stitch right here. So we're going to uh, put three double crochets, chain two and three more double crochets in this stitch. So skip this stitch, skip this stitch, go into this next stitch right here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's a double crochet. So you have to make three of those. So there's one. Go back into the same stitch for two and three. Now we're going to chain two for the peak of our crown point and then put three more double crochets into that same stitch. Okay, and again, a double crochet is yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And do that one more time. Okay, so in that stitch we have three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets, all in that same stitch right there. Now we're gonna skip these next two stitches here, and we're gonna single crochet into this next stitch right here. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And there is our first crown point. So now we're just going to repeat this all the way around. So skip two stitches and make those series of stitches in this next stitch here. That's three double crochets. One, two, three. Chain two, one and two, and three more double crochets in that same stitch. One, two, and three. And then skip the next two stitches, one, two, go into this next stitch here and single crochet. And there is another point of your crown. So we're just going to repeat that all the way around and once I have all my points done and I've come back around I'll show you what to do next. Alright, when you come all the way back around just slip stitch to the first um, single crochet stitch. As you can see, I did my last sequence of stitches here. Skip these last two stitches and slip stitch to the first single crochet. And then we can fasten this off, but I'm going to fasten off with a long tail to sew this to the hat. So you can see I chained one there. I'm going to set this down. I'm going to grab a long strand and cut my yarn and then pull it all the way through that chain one right there. Okay, just pull all the way. And that fastens it off and it's secure. And now like I said earlier, we're going to sew this together from using our beginning strand of yarn 
here. We're just going to go to this side, pull that together, and then come back around and tie a knot. Okay, and that's secure as well. So now I can sew in this end up into these stitches. And that is secure. And that will not unravel. So we're just going to trim that short. And this is the back of our crown. And you can see there. So you can actually use this crown for other things, not just this hat. I mean, you can use it for like, um, it'd be cute for like a first birthday party. <laughs> cute! Okay, so now we want to add some fur to the bottom. This is also um, optional. We are going to grab some of this huga fur, okay, and we're going to turn this upside down here. We're going to go along this bottom edge, so just wherever your hook fits in one of these stitches at the bottom, just hook on this fur, and we are going to chain one, and just single crochet all the way around, okay? So I know you can't really see my stitches, but what I'm doing is going in, yarning over with the fur yarn, pulling it through, and then yarning over and pulling through both of those loops, okay? So I'm just going to do that in each stitch all the way around, just like that. Just a, a simple single crochet all the way around the base of this crown. This is optional. Uh, this is uh, basically an embellishment for the costume that I am making for my son Nasser. So I'm just going to do that and then I'll show you what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do next. Alright, so I actually decided that uh, this isn't actually enough fur for my liking, uh, but if it is for you, you can fasten this off. Uh, but I'm going to do one more round here, so I'm actually going to just do a continuous round and just single crochet into this first stitch right here. I know you can't really see it, um, but I'm just going to kind of feel my way through and single crochet in each of these stitches around and hopefully... Um, I can see my stitches and work these around. <laughs> I know working with fur is super difficult, but I'll make it through. I'm just going to do another round of this, and then once I'm finished with the second round of fur, I will come back and show you how to attach this to the hat. Alright, that second round is subtle, but it is enough, and I really like how it looks, so I'm going to fasten this off, so I'm just going to slip stitch into the first stitch here, yarn over, pull through and through, and then chain one and cut this fur yarn, and pull it through that chain one, and pull tight, and I'm just going to grab my yarn needle right away and just sew that end in. I like to sew my ends in as I go, that way I don't have a whole lot of sewing to do at the very end of my project, and I can just enjoy it, and be done with it when it's done. <laughs> so I'm just going to sew that end in, cut any extra, there we go, and now we have this long strand here. We're going to sew this to the hat. So we're going to sew it on round 10. So I have my hat here. I'm going to count from the top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right above round 10. So I guess on round 9 is where it's going to go. And we're just going to position this right there. So you want it. You want the top of the hat to be shown um, above the crown there. Okay, and oh, I didn't sew in that end here. So I'm going to yarn my needle with this gold. I'll sew that end in later. <laughs> and we are going to go down. We See our yarn is ending right here. So we're going to go down to the base of our crown right above the fur. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of weave it in and out here, okay, and I'm right here now, whoopsie, I gotta sew that end in, so I'm just gonna pull this all the way through until we're secure, okay, so now, round 10, let me count again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay, so round 10 is right here, so we want to go right above round 10, and we are just going to go in, I know I can't really 
uh, see here. We're just gonna go in and out both layers, just like this, and just kind of sew it all the way around. Okay. Now you don't have to like sew every single stitch, but you want to sew. You can like skip when you're on the inside. You can skip like two stitches and then come back out in this end here. Okay. So you can see I'm going to go into the very next stitch and then the next stitch here and then skip like two or three stitches, come back out and come out the crown. Okay. And just put this over that, just like that. So I'm just going to sew that all the way around and then uh, when I come back I will show you what to do next. Alright, I just sewed this all the way around, so now I'm just going to fasten this off, and I'm just going to come back through this loop here. Okay, just go through a few stitches, come back through the loop and tie a knot, and then sew this underneath the crown, or like into the stitches um, of the crown, and hide that strand, and then cut that long, long strand short, just like that. So now the last step we want to do, look at how cute that is looking, I added a braid to this side, I want to add a braid to this side as well. How cute does that look? Oh my goodness, I love it! Okay, so I'm just going to grab um, a bunch of strands of yarn, so we're just going to grab six long strands of this uh, main color that we have. Let's see, four five and six. So I'm just cutting these strands just like this and these ends just like this. Okay, and then we're going to fold them in half here. Make sure they're even. Come to this side of your piece. Go through some of the stitches. Hook that on. Okay, there's six strands here. I'm just going to hook it through and then just pull one side. Whoopsie. Oh, I think I did that wrong. Let's try that again. <laughs> Let's just pull one side through. So hold one side and pull one side through. There we go. Just like that. Okay. I'm not even going to tie a knot or anything. We just want to make sure they're even on the bottom, okay? And then we're just going to separate them into four strands in three sections, okay? So four strands, four strands, and four strands. And then just braid it. And you want to braid it um, as long as you want it to be. And once it's fully braided, um, now there's tutorials <laughs> online of how to braid. Um, so I'm not going to like do step by step, but just um, braid this however long you want it to be. And then I'll show you what to do next. Alright, for your first braid, you can make it however long you want it to be. For your second braid, make sure it is the same length as your first braid, and then tie these around your fingers, and similarly to a slip knot, we want to crisscross this and then bring this through, and if we didn't pull all the way through, that would be a slip knot, but we're going to pull it all the way through and pull tight, but make sure that these strands, these braids, are exactly the same length before you tighten your knot permanently. Okay, so I just want to make sure that these are sh the same. There we go. Yep, they're really close, if they aren't. There we go. Perfect. And then we want to trim the bottom here just shorter and the same length to each other. So I'm just going to cut them right about here and just be super careful with the scissors. There we go. 
and there is our hat. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. Nas is going to look so adorable in this. I can't wait to see the pictures. And you should check out the pictures on yarnutopia.com. But thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this super simple, adorable crown hat. I just love it so much. And um, yeah, it was a lot of, it was very easy and a lot of fun to make. So thank you so much. And big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing the yarn for this project today. Big thank you to my dad who's over my shoulder filming the whole thing and editing and posting it up on YouTube for everybody to see. And big thank you to you for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Check out all the links in the description of this video. Get your would-be fancy hooks, <laughs> all the good stuff. And until next time, happy hooking.